Go Toy. <laughs> Are we on? We're on. All yeah. right. Cool. All right. Thank you, everybody, Woo! for joining us. Thanks, guys, for being here. Joy and Jay from the Jing Slingers. Thanks so much. We were so, so excited about seeing you guys again. It's been oh. a really long time. You know what? I just looked at it. It was uh, two years, August of 2015. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Yeah. The link. That's when we were doing our Kickstarter for our book. Mm -hmm. so, Which, mm -hmm. by the way, Which, you might by want to show way, that. Everyone grab a copy. <laughs> Food, with, Food benefits. with benefits. This is yes. awesome. We printed 5,000 copies and uh, we're down to just uh, a couple hundred left. Really? And you guys were really instrumental in, in letting the Kickstarter people we try. put that all in. So it debuted last April of last year, so a spring ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it debuted and came out and we were number one in vegan, number one in paleo, number one in organic. Wow. On Amazon.com. Amazon. Really? So it, it's on Amazon.com for people in the US. Uh, we also have the uh, PDF available on our website, also mm -hmm. PDF download, and international people can just email us about it. Oh, no way. getting a physical we will copy. Send That's it awesome. To you. We yeah. sent them all over the world. That's so great. So people can just download the ebook and there you go. You're off the yeah. run. Speaking of all Much over better the world, than a regular book, oh, aren't they amazing? Oh, yeah. You guys took your jing and up and left California. <gasps> I know. What's up with that? <laughs> yes. where, tell us why. Why? What's why are you deal? leaving What's us? What's going on with you guys? <laughs> why? Why? Gosh, where do we begin? It's been it's been quite a process. I mean, it, about a year and a half ago, um, we were, we were specializing in high end catering for our clients. So you know, we and we personal have chefing, personal mm -hmm. chefing, carpet folks. Um, so people Stephen we cannot Tyler, talk. Tyler, Stacy Keebler, people you know who blurbed our book here. So we were specializing in that for a couple of years, and then we really wanted to take the business, you know, in a more scalable direction, reach a wider audience, and really teach people how to fish rather than fishing for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted yeah. like everyday soccer moms and the everyday person to have this amazing information so they could have more longevity and feel better every day. Yeah, yeah. So that's when we decided to finally write the book and you know people have been asking us for a long time to to do a cookbook so we decided to do that and now that that's out it was really the next the next step really was we were ready just to leave the city and to get back into nature you know it's really a long time coming i'd been in los angeles for 10 years uh very you know different uh parts of the city and uh, i grew up more in the country and it was just really you know mm. really time to get back Really? So where did you grow up in the country? Uh, I grew up in Massachusetts, about an hour south of Boston. Okay. In a very small town called Plimpton, Massachusetts. More nature. Yeah, more nature. A little more nature than L.A.? Yeah. Downtown. <laughs> more deers and squirrels yeah. than folks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's cool. So that's, cool. you know, more where, where my heart is. But, um, I mean, there's just so many things with the move. Um, one one resource that I always tell people in, I got to give a shout out to Extreme Health here because uh, I first heard about antennasearch.com on your yeah. website. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. During one of your interviews, I forget who it was, but I first heard about it on, on your show and oh, cool. I've used that for so many people. Oh, yeah. So the place we're moving to, well, where we've moved to, um, is just north of Asheville, North Carolina. Um, when you go on antenna search, there's seven cell phone towers in a four mile radius. You mm. can, uh, if people don't know about the website, you yeah. type in any address in the country and you can see f in a four mile radius how many cell phone towers and then how many like radio antennas and things like that are, are near your house. Right, right. So there's seven Spooky. where we're living right now. Where we were in Los An Angeles. Where there was maybe eight. No. Per square inch? 156. <laughs> so that's 156 of the big ass antennas. That's, 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 that's not, cell towers. Yeah, that's cell not towers. including every single person at every doorstep, because we were in a townhouse situation. Wow. All had Wi Fi and satellite um, TV and all of that. So the, the EMF ocean that we were swimming in. Um, was palpably gone when we moved into our scalar energy um, North Carolina location. I'm how how did you guys find that place? Uh, it where? found us. Yeah? It found us, yeah. We, That's kind of what happens when you are on the right uh, path, right? This yeah. is, this is yeah. how God and universe works. It's so amazing. So um, knowing we were going to be with a, a client on the East Coast um, about six hours away from Asheville, because Asheville and that, that Western North Carolina area has always spoken to me. So um, I spent um, time there at summer, mm -hmm. summer camp when I was a kid. 
And even though I'm an ocean girl, grew up in South Florida. Uh oh. Um, ocean, yeah. ocean person now. Nah, that's uh, that's like me. A nature person. Well, a water uh-huh. person. A water. Yeah. Person. yeah, a water person. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I I poured through Zillow and pulled out probably I think almost sixty different places, uh-huh. uh, both properties and homes um, to look at. And we had three days where the down, uh, downtown. I guess it was Asheville, mm-hmm. um, extended state they couldn't accommodate us. The first three days we were in town. So I very quickly Googled, this is where it comes in, wait for it. <laughs> um, and River Dance had three days open, which is a bed and breakfast in that part of the area that I really wanted to go look at. Interesting. So we went there. They had a cancellation exactly the three days that I needed. I walked through the front door, full moon through giant, you know, huge windows. And I was like, <gasps> and you could just feel that. You could just feel it. So we wake up in the morning and I go, well, our, our realtor hasn't called. It's been two days from Zillow. And she goes, uh, she goes, well, our realtor, she's, you know, lives, lives here too. Would you like to meet her? 20 minutes later, she was on the doorstep and showed us um, the house and the property and ultimately the property that we ended up, wow. you know, getting. Um, we went and looked at all the other ones and they just didn't match up. So see how it works. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. Right in your lap. Right, like yeah, that's so right cool. Wow. wow. So you found that no struggle, no. I mean, how long did you look on Zillow? Oh, it's been a process. Let's not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely it's, been a process. Well, actually, a little we, more than a year. Yeah. Okay. We we were originally looking for a house, and but we ended up buying a property. So we're actually building now from from the ground up. Right. So oh, we wow. actually break ground as soon as we get back. On wow. the same in the same location. So just so you understand, so the the house we were going to buy actually was purchased kind of out from underneath us. Um, cash buyer, which mm-hmm. is fine. It actually turned out to be a blessing. Um, but the, the, the property is twice as large. So it's, it's two and a half acres. It's got river front on both sides. Wow. And we've got otters and beavers and deer and it's beautiful. And um, we had the dowser mm-hmm. come out this last week before we flew to you guys. Uh, he, he found, found a spring, a, he spring found on your property? Beautiful, <gasps> yes. That would be um, awesome. And we're drilling for those. Um, <laughs> oh, you're serious. <laughs> he did found <laughs> water. He found. Yeah, but he's got two flows. I was just kidding. <laughs> I know you wow. were. Wow. That's why we paid a dowser. He's been doing it for years. Well, there's water like everywhere out there. So yeah. it's yeah. really... Um, but we wanted to make sure that we're, you know, because you can you can drill. We we had neighbors. We had one neighbor who drilled down and hid an artesian an artesian without spring without a dowser. Okay. Yeah, without a dowser, and then the guy next to him drilled down like a thousand feet, didn't hit anything. Wow. So you need to be able to. He he's actually feeling for. He says the cracks. Okay. In, in the, the energetic flow of the water. In, Interesting. Yeah, where he he can actually feel where the water is. So. Um, Let me give him a shout out. He's sure. Lee Barnes. <laughs> nice. And he goes all over the world. He's a dowser. Um, he's a dowser. He's and he's part of an international dousing team um, from the UK to all over. That's the place. awesome. He's amazing. Lee Barnes. Lee Barnes. Lee Barnes. He's, and he's so accurate that um, if you don't find the water at the location as well as the depth, he says he gives you back your two hundred and fifty bucks. No way. That's actually yeah. pretty affordable Confidence. for that yeah. kind of a... Yeah. Very affordable. Yeah. So you guys, ta- you'll tap into that water supply and then run it up through your house so your whole house It'll has that? Whole thing yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys. That is insane. And there's no fracking because we're literally in the arm of the Pisgah National Forest. So you don't have to worry about upstream or, or downstream. Um, Contamination. Of kind, it's pretty much spring fed and, and snow and, and rain runoff. And uh, our river is 24-7, 365 bold. And you'll be able to see that in the video. I can't wait to see that wow. one. Um, so are you so cool. are you guys going to host a bunch of events at your property? And- mm-hmm. Yes. What's the, no, yes. What's the plan? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have a plan for so, the property? Yeah, so besides we're, living? we're building it specifically with the intent of having clients come and doing personal retreats. Like we'll specialize in that, but we also have accommodations. There's actually in our um, homeowners association, we have a huge, it's like a million dollar lodge. That's a community lodge. So we can use that for larger size That's events. Classroom. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So will you guys, it will be the kind of thing in the future where you provide the meals and the food and people kind of do their thing. And yeah, it'll be, mm-hmm. it'll be all inclusive. So when people come, when they come to us, they have a couple of options. Um, and we've already had clients that have come to us. They come to us. We do breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast in bed is given. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, all super food. And it's all pointed towards that. We start off by doing your, their full protocol. So the protocol is specific for them. They come by themselves or with a partner, then both people get their protocols. 
And then the food they consume from the day they're there to the day they leave, um, they're given the how, the why, and if they want to jump in and do the culinary part, we even do that part. I was going to wonder. So yeah. you guys, they can get the hands-on experience. If you want that, yes. Oh, so what, wow. what is the main um, sorry, goal of, of, of someone coming? Is someone coming that wants to learn how to incorporate this kind of uh, healthy living or sick people? Or what's kind of yeah. like your aim for people? Well, we, we have... We have all types of people that we work with. So, um, but basically, it's a, it's a health intensive. Okay. Yeah, it's a health um, retreat and intensive. So people are able to relax as much as they want or learn as much as they want. That's or awesome. Play yeah. as much mm-hmm. as you and play. Want. Yes. Because have we fun. Have people who, um, like we have health coaches, some from Bulletproof, some just in general. They want to come and do the zip lining. They want to do the the white water rafting. They want to do the llama trekking. They want to do the waterfall. Um, llama trekking. Llama That's trekking. so great. <laughs> I think I know where we're going in the <laughs> yeah, next right? year. Uh, the waterfall um, trek is awesome because you actually go and swim through waterfalls and, and be in the water, and it's so much fun. Wow. Um, and there's so much more to do. Plus, there's there you can you customize. Because when you're there, for example, say if you and the, and the lovely Miss Kate came, mm-hmm. then you guys would tell us ahead of time. We'd give you a, a, a list of things that were available to do during that season. Okay. And and you do and, all four seasons? Yeah. Okay. And, and then people will come and, and say, we want to, this is our adventure that we want. This mm-hmm. is the education that we want. And this is the personal um, health bump we want. So then we, we meet those protocols and then we fit it all in and then you guys are just an absolute bliss and, and wow. a totally immersed environment of organic. That's awesome. Amazing. So you guys are going to be having wow. talks and lectures or working like workshops with people and teaching them how to, what kinds of things will they yeah. learn? Well, well, for example, if you guys came, we only do, when we do our intensives, you are it. There's no one else to share our time with. So you, oh, we wow. are personally one-on-one. Yeah, it's very personalized. That's yeah. cool. So you yeah. get as much or as little as you're ready to take. Um, when we do the, uh, the, the, the teachings with where we have syllabuses, then people will come. It's very much like ver- a lot of other okay. um, where um, that would be most of the things would probably take place at the lodge. Okay. And um, we probably have maybe 25 or 30 people. And then it's group learning. Okay. Okay. And, um, and then, the, you know, instead of having personalized food, it would be just, you know, based on your dietary, we'd have, you know, everyone's welcome at our table. Okay. So if you're vegan, you're good. If you're paleo, you're good. If you're bulletproof, you're good. Everyone's, everyone's got the food they need. Is, yeah. is there a difference between bulletproof and is that more like a paleo? That's more paleo, isn't it? It is more paleo, it's similar. but it, similar. Um, they incorporate the, the butter. Oh, the, the butter. That. That, um, that's a no-no. Down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's and, a no-no. And with Dave, with the Bulletproof Diet, um, is also very focused on mitigating mold. Yes. So oh, anything right, that's right. that's really mold-prone okay. is, is low on the diet. Right, right. Which would be what? What foods are high in Coffee, mold? Coffee, actually, is one. So the Bulletproof Coffee, they mitigate the, the oh, that's uh, right. overtoxins and aflatoxins. Cashews, I think. Well, are any kind of nuts. nuts. A lot of nuts, For sure, right? peanuts. Cashews, mm-hmm. peanuts, um... Uh, actually, pepper. If you get pepper, yeah, certain spices, peppercorns that have been <clears throat> really? you know sat for a long time and they become an issue, so you try to get them as fresh as possible, oh. or just use something that's a little more spicy, a little wasabi or something instead. Yeah, woohoo! Yeah. Well, you guys yeah. have a lot of good stuff coming up then. Yeah. When so will what, the house be yeah, finished? Yeah, when when will this start? be available? It's going to be pretty fast. Uh, probably five months. Okay. So we break September. ground. Yeah, um, uh, June first, and then September, October. Yeah. <clears throat> You guys have so much. Going That's on. awesome. Yeah, Are you guys just super excited about super it? Super stoked. Uh, you oh know, man! One of the first things since we actually were there in spring to make to facilitate all this and mm-hmm. make this manifestation crystallize, um, it's ramp season, which is like a shallot kind of onion thing. And oh. Wild ramps. They also have wild ginseng, which which call they call us. Yeah. Sang pullers. Sang. Y'all's a sang puller. A sang puller. S A N G? Is that anything? Yeah, it's ginseng. Oh, okay. Ginseng. Oh, I sang. Yeah. Ginseng. That's sang. That's, sang. Uh, that's funny. And also the morels. And I actually brought some so we can show them on the camera. What these in are the from world? Our property. Look at these beautiful morels. And they're oh up my in the goodness. spring. Um, these, are, these have amazing vitamin D properties, um, an incredible mushroom, and they taste amazing. Wow. So we, we brought some so you can see that we weren't even, we haven't even built a house yet. And, um, and the property that we're using, uh, which is right around the corner from where we are, okay. um, is where we're doing, basically, it's called, we're Waterstone, so we're calling it Waterstone Junior until ours is built. Wow. So what would people do with those? I'm oh, just this. curious. How are you preserving them? Like, what oh, you... Joy, get a little closer if you can to the mic. Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah, here we sorry. Here. And so I don't know if you can see them. They're but, so pretty. But these are the morels, and there we go. 
you can see them and yeah. they're pretty distinctive so they're not hard to it's not a hard thing to try to forage yeah, i've never seen anything um, they like come that. up in the spring they have a, a really nice earthy kind of portobello -y kind of flavor kind of almost meaty um and we actually cut those up i took i had a little jar of them that we had gotten cut them up with some spiralized zucchini a little bit of carrot um, and some of the ramps, which is the, the oniony, garlicky flavor. And we um, presented them last night, and we did them on Sophie Uliano's uh, Facebook Live. No Dang way. For Mother's Day, we did it in coconut flatbread. All and she was actually food. freaking out because she loves mushrooms, and her father is a mushroom hunter. And oh, like, no way. And are her favorite things. <laughs> when and we do wow. you know that? that when just... do you ever know someone's father is going to be a mushroom hunter? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> random. So, you know, wow, you guys. Like that, so so have you used or figured out any unique kind of ways to use those in different recipes? I'm sure you have. Oh, my God. Yeah? You can, first of all, you can just cut them up, mince them up, and put them in anything from eggs with a little truffle salt on them. Uh, if you're paleo, that's awesome. Um, with any kind of vegetable, any kind of stir fry, uh -huh. you can blend them down with several other kinds of mushrooms, some shiitake, or just some you know creminis, and make an amazing soup. It's so earthy and deep, it just oh, really has a wonderful bet. flavor. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, another cool thing about now being on the East Coast is just starting to get plugged into what's local out there. So uh -huh. like even in their large grocery stores out there, um, in the produce section, you can actually get shiitake mushrooms for a dollar ninety nine a pound. A dollar ninety nine a oh, pound. Just at the they're, grocery store. Yeah, yeah. they're oh, wow. I mean, organic. They have, yeah, because yeah. they just the 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 wild pickers bring them in and then they they focus especially not just the main that main um, store I think it's called Ingles, mm -hmm. um, but the uh, the farmers markets are off the chain. Yeah. Oh my gosh! People are like biodynamic foodies. It's a little really different ridiculous. than here for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, different. We love the farmers market. Some of the things that that we made yesterday were from the farmers were market from Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you have banana bread now too. Oh my gosh, that banana bread Let's is talk about all this, stuff. <laughs> this looks so good. <laughs> Tell us about that banana bread. What it? What in the world is that in this okay. one? I oh, haven't made no, it. it. No, just, I didn't. That's, that's a that's a newbie actually. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, so that's a teaser. Um, but the caramel sauces. Yeah, and you had a little bit yep. of caramel sauce. Made that. Sauce. I did. It's so mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why don't you, Jay do caramel sauce first, and then mm -hmm. I'll jump into the bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the caramel so sauce. Good. Yeah, that's our superfood caramel sauce. That's in the book. Everyone. That's a big picture. If of you want right to buy there. this book, which I highly recommend. So that you can page make that, No. You can do that vegetarian, or you can do it vegan. That's actually the vegan version. Um, the base of that is the Nutiva um, shortening, which is actually a coconut oil and, and palm oil, red palm oil. Su sustainable red palm oil. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. What's the deal with palm oil? Isn't there some issues with People baboons? People freaking out about the shortening. A orangutan habitat orangutan? Get, get destroyed with conventional um, palm oil okay. harvesting. The Nutiva one is sustainable. Though. Nutiva, is that's what you want to buy. Yeah. That's what we like okay. supporting them because they do it right. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So, you can do the base with either that, or you can use a good ghee also if somebody's vegetarian and likes ghee and wants to get that fat in. You brought the yep. ghee last time, and that was the caramel is caramel the ghee, right? The organics. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah. Now, see, that was his, that's oh. the same recipe, only with the flip. -out. I still remember the flavor. You're still I mean, dreaming I mean, about two it. Two years ago. <laughs> like, yeah, there is. You want some? <laughs> Please. Um, this is great. Well, and this. These are the, the actually, caramel. Okay. those are our, our crunchy caramel hearts. So with those, we actually use puffed quinoa and we do a 50-50 puffed quinoa to caramel ratio and then just do them in a non-toxic silicone mold. And that's it, in the freezer or yeah. the fridge. Oh my go. goodness. So what is it, puffed quinoa and what else? Yeah, so puffed quinoa and, and then the caramel sauce mix. It. So the caramel is the, the fat base, healthy fat base, and then it's um, lacuma fruit powder, maca powder, some sunflower lecithin to, to make it all meld together. And, and then... What's the sweetener? Stevia. We use uh, toffee stevia uh, from Sweet Leaf and then um, Lakanto and or birch xylitol. Yeah. So it's low uh, glycemic. Uh, super low. Super low. We're no sugar, no, no gluten. Yeah. And then wow. the tonic herbs in there are astragalus root powder Upright cheeks. and wow. Siberian ginseng. Really? Hello. Yeah. And so, <laughs> wow. so one of the things we do in, in the book and one of the things we specialize in really is showing people how to incorporate herbs that really lean into the flavor of whatever you're making. So those herbs both kind of have, they're a little bit bitter, but they have that kind of caramelly light flavor profile to it. So they really blend in with the flavor. You don't even know they're in there. So you're doing a lot of the herbs. Are you doing mostly like herb powders or are you doing more yeah. herbs like in tinctures and things? 
Uh, well, I guess the alcohol would uh, mess up the flavors. In that it? case, yeah, alcohol would mess up the, the consistency. Powders? Of yeah, so, powders. Yeah, powder. Usually powders and foods, but in smoothies and tonics, we can use alcohol extracts too. Oh my yeah. gosh! You, so, we generally use powders though the most. We like we'll get those in bulk. In any yeah. given day, how many different types of mushrooms do you think you guys eat? Oh my gosh! Thank um, you, Kate. Well, if you're if you count when we put tablespoons of pure synergy in our smoothies, which we usually do. What is that again? What's pure synergy? If if all you had to live on was two things, if you had pure synergy, uh-huh. um, pure radiance, and the DNA detox, you probably live to be about two hundred and mm-hmm. kick ass. Oh my gosh! You would um, need some macronutrients in there so, as well. Maybe a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> but pure synergy is that a green powder or what is yeah. that? It's yeah, a green it's, powder with mushrooms. Yeah, it does. It has the mushrooms in it. It has medicinal mushrooms. Um, it also has um, probiotics in it. It has uh, all the greens, AFA, aphanism, <coughs> Casaqua. It has um, barley grasses and chlorella. Yeah. And it was beautiful it, powder. It was it really one. Yeah. Open all kinds of jars. Oh, it was yeah. one of the real kind of pioneering superfood yeah. powders back. I don't even know how long it's been around 15, 20 years. It's, yeah, it's, I remember it's people talking about it. It's pretty yeah. old school, and I, I, especially for the time that it came out. Um, it was a really advanced formula. I mean, you know, there's so many now on the market, but um, it, still it was, ass, yeah, it was really uh-huh. a pioneer, but pioneering still, like, formula. Up yeah. there with our, it's one of our, it's, we, we travel mm. with it. It's awesome. Yeah. In fact, back in the Erewhon Tonic Bar days, when the Erewhon Tonic Bar first started, mm-hmm. uh, Pure Synergy was known as the bar in a jar. Yeah. Because oh, really? It's basically, yeah. Like you all started everything with that. And, yeah. and herbs and things like that. It's, you know, everything all in one spot. So for people that don't know, you spent how many years working there at the at Erewhon? I was there about six years total six years total senior and, herbalist. and senior herbalist and working what more than eight hours a day probably i mean you're working a lot yeah right consistently there. yeah i was there about four or five years full time and then i left to do a consulting job in japan and then i came back part-time for a while and then that's actually when we started jing slingers so, so how I, him. I, I know right <laughs> hijacked so, him <laughs> hijacked him so how many years did you before you worked at uh, air one did you play around on your own with your own stuff oh quite a few probably another uh, half dozen or so yeah. oh my gosh I mean, Air- yes. Erewhon though was I mean it's it was such a concentrated amount of, of training you know, yeah the time. Oh, I, oh yeah you know, mm-hmm. I had over 10,000 hours I've logged over 10,000 hours behind a tonic bar and making elixirs for people that's crazy so Chinese we were primarily using <coughs> Chinese herbs back then but uh, we, 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 we do everything now uh-huh. we do uh, Chinese and Ayurvedic and Amazon so who's and everything. who's the master so you would be the master herbalist of the two <laughs> is that right we're, we're both masters so what's what's your specialties do you think <laughs> I would like say that the liquid assets uh-huh. are, are more J, whereas the the um, superfood yummies are more me. Okay. Joy's definitely the master when it comes to the baking and the cooking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everything from salad dressings to the, how's that banana bread working for you? Over there? Oh my gosh! Well, I already ate one piece. I'm trying to like <laughs> hold the conversation. Well, yeah. What what banana bread is? <laughs> oh, it's too good. Is it? That's the comfort part and the the thing that struck me. And I was actually at Tree of Life learning from Dr. Gabriel Cousins mm-hmm. uh, when when this really hit me. I wanted the food that we love to love us back. Mm. Yeah. Because people want to have the banana bread and the bowl of yum yum whatever it is. And it's it's so we've taken those superfoods um, and infused them or made them entirely into comfort foods that people look for. Pizza, macaroni, <coughs> cheese, like that kind of kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Even if you're vegan. So vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and that's the part of the book I think why we ended up, went to number one so quick is that every single one of the recipes shows you how to tweak it so everyone who sits at the table had the same food uh-huh, instead uh-huh. of, you know, a weird bowl of weeds and a chunk of meat. <laughs> and it's, like, it's like your holidays handled. You what know? about people that are doing like the keto thing, which is really popular? Actually, the those, with the exception of the um, the quinoa that's in that, you could have the, that caramel. Um, you can also do... Um, to keep your, and, and this also has MCT oils in it too. There's brain octane oil in both the, the banana bread as well as the uh, the caramel that you've just had. Wow. Can we talk about this drink I can't get enough of? Okay, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> down, can I have some more? Yeah. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Mm. Oh, sorry. So that is what the, in so the world. That's the strawberry basil lemon teeny. Is this a new one for you guys? It's a hydration. No, no it's, it's in, in the book. It's, that's in the book as well. Why did I not see it in there? It's in there. Apparently, I need to. There's read the whole thing with the, with the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's we're too busy a hydration making marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk about this. This is the best thing I've ever had in my so life. So the base of it is organic strawberries. Strawberries are, you know, one of the dirty dozen. They're one of the most heavily uh, pesticided produce items in the world. So 
you strawberries always, are strawberries so mm-hmm. you always need to get those organic right. those i've heard in beets as well is super important right yeah beets, beets. I, I, well a lot of the root vegetables but especially like the really soft um berries blueberries raspberries um, because they spray the bejesus out of them and you want to mm. make sure that and it soaks right through the other ones is potatoes which i love the heirloom purple potatoes okay right um but the potatoes that most humans, most muggle humans eat, mm-hmm. and I say that with love, <laughs> um, it literally, they, um, especially when they're they're grown, although they're really kind of manufactured, for large companies that make french fries part of their meal okay. in a really big way. Mm-hmm. And that's as far as L- over there. Large company. Uh, I can't imagine yeah. what that would be. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure that out. <laughs> I just, mm. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> they actually take these potatoes and because they're so high-breaded and so heavily um, pesticided and so heavily um, chemicalized, <clears throat> when they come out of the ground, they, they have to wear hazmat suits and put them in, in a covered facility the size of a football field that they have to air out for, I want to say it's more than 24 or 48 hours before y- humans can even go in there. And then they feed them to our babies. So... That's what happens with, and wow. you can actually, I'll, I'll Google, I'll send you the reference for that. That's not like just a urban legend. That's. Sometimes. I have never heard wow. that in my life. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. And then with beets, beets are actually a, a GMO food as well. So, but most of the GMO beets are used for sugar, for oh, su- for like beet uh, sugar, driving yeah the yeah. beet sugar. So, what so. about if you get organic? Beets, you'd be mm-hmm. safe there, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And beets yeah. are amazing. No, they, beets are great. They, yeah. they're, they're a needle mover. They'll do all sorts of wonderful things for the body that we're not allowed to say we cure anything. But let me tell yeah. you something. Beets are remarkable, especially if you juice them and eat them raw. Have you heard of the guy? He's a, he's like, he's been on our show twice. Robert Vaughn. Robert, Robert the Vaughn. Mini, mini beet. Yes, Man, have you guys done that? Yes, we have. We have for a while, yeah. Uh, Is it as powerful we for a couple weeks. as he says? It's shockingly powerful. Because it's what is it? Beets, beets and asparagus. Asparagus, yeah. yeah. And, and you what juice else? Them. An apple, right? You eat yeah. the apple, I think, right? Is oh, you, right? yeah. You eat the apple for the um, apple pectin to slow down any kind of Herxheimer uh, <laughs> detox reaction. <laughs> yeah, <Because> from, <laughs> yeah. Pulls things from your bones. It's ridiculous. The other thing you That's can do crazy. is you can do lemon oil in capsules to slow down a, a Herxheimer reaction. Also. So, what is the protocol? Like, how long ago did you guys do that? It was a couple of years ago we we did that. It was, it was spring two years ago. Yeah, because you guys doing... experiment a lot, right? Oh, yeah. Do different oh, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we don't recommend it or, or let people know about it unless we've done it, felt it, tried it on other people who have different constitutions than us. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. we know it's not just particular. We try not to cherry pick anything, mm-hmm. so we can tell you across the board what it is. <clears throat> Actually, we were talking. So we were talking to to Robert about it when, when we were doing it. And I had, I, I really felt something from it. Like I, I felt a tremendous boost in like drive, like kind of like a, a dopamine testosterone. Really? And he actually said, he said, well, that's interesting. He said, you're probably detoxing fluoride from your pineal gland because of the boron that's in the beets. Of course. Hello. <laughs> oh my Everyone gosh. knows that. I'm just kidding. Wow. How crazy but, is but that? But I definitely noticed like an elevation and just, you know, drive and getting things done. Yeah, being that's... on the beats. Plus the nitric oxide, you know, all yeah. this oh, uh, yeah. really good nitric oxide. In fact, in the Arnox that we recommend, we put in actually even in this, um, meaning the, the, you know, when we do put it in, it's a, it's a jing up, it's an option. When we do something that has berries in it of any sort, um, that that's beet derived. Yeah, you know, that's that's that nit- the uh, nitric oh oxide. nitric oxide. Yeah, 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 super important. Yeah, wow. So okay. let's. So you were saying the base. I, we we. It's so easy oh, to get yeah. off track. I, we were I talking found, about the base of that I lemon. I found drink. it in the book. <laughs> oh, so yeah, strawberry base lemon teeny. Uh, Kate, would you like to do the honors? What I like to do. Honest. Yeah. You ready? Page one forty seven of Liquid Assets. I love it. You guys. Ten ounces of frozen strawberries. Um, do you guys grow your own? Yes, we mm-hmm. do. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, but you can get fresh from the market and just throw them in the freezer. Okay. So they have to be frozen, correct? Two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of lemon rind. So you guys have one of those graters. Everyone needs a grater. We have a grater. Get those bioflavonoids. Yep, five it, medium, sorry. Sorry, it should be two t- tablespoons lemon juice, one tablespoon lemon rind. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, it's my it's my, <laughs> it's my my strawberry basil teeny <laughs> mind. <laughs> lemon teeny. Just for those listening and oh writing my gosh, down right I'm, now. I need gosh. to wake up. <laughs> five medium to large fresh basil leaves. Is that all? Because yeah, it has a hint. A little bit more. Yeah. Mm. I was, yeah. We're growing basil right now. You don't want it to be overwhelming. Okay. Just the I know, it's perfect, you yep. guys. You, you got why, this. How did you get basil leaves into that? I mean, what? I know. You blended it. We can't no, even but, see I it. Mean, how do you, how would sorry, you think to put those for together? For people that are listening well. and they're just um, <laughs> listening to me eat. I know. But how, what made you think to add basil to a 
It's a sweet drink it's like that. It's a perfect compliment. Yeah, it's a, it's a counterpoint. And plus the, it's like adding salt or something? No, no, actually, kind of. Well, you know how they do salt the with sweet? To a martini? Because of the, of, the, um, of the volatile oils that are in it, like the eugenol, the things like that that are antihistamine, anti, you know, bacterial, anti... Uh, fungal really work well with the strawberry because strawberries are actually part of the rose family and and basil and rose work really mm. good together so basil rose and strawberries is magic wow should be the lemon basil rose teeny yes. you could call it a million things we can add that as a jing it up in the, the next edition <laughs> yeah of the i some, like that this is where wine. you heard it first people yep. <laughs> two tablespoons of coconut milk which is i think it just made well, we were talking we we're talking before the show how mm-hmm. i felt like i told justin this reminds me of one of those yummy smoothies slash margaritas you'd get at like a fancy bar at a hotel oh, in Hawaii yeah. like at a you know really nice upscale lava flow oh we used man to get were those in, good at the high no, I miss Hawaii. those talk about a sugar bomb <laughs> so good two cups of water and uh, one tablespoon of xylitol do you guys use the um Lakanto. Lakanto. Yeah, that's this right use Lakanto. In fact, Lakanto okay we'll replace all the xylitol that you read in the book and we do have a whole chapter in the book that's about sweets and you can, or sweeteners, and you can use whatever those sweeteners resonate with. Okay, okay, so people can mix it up. Yeah. A fourth a teaspoon of vanilla stevia and a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. Then to jing it up, yeah. you did put aloe vera juice or aloe vera gel in here? Had sweet. In this one? Yeah, uh, that one? Yes. And then, I don't know how to say that and word. Arnox. 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 I don't even advantage. know what that is. That's actually a nitric oxide formula, so. So what does that look, where do people get that? Uh, we oh, actually website. have a link on oh, our website. Good. Oh, no it's, way. Yeah, it's kind of a specialty supplement product, so you can only get it online. <clears throat> okay. But we, we have a link in the resources on our website. So it's a nitric oxide formula of food concentrates plus um, arginine and citrulline, which are the two amino acids that yeah. boost nitric oxide. Nice, you guys. And so nitric oxide is the signaling molecule that um, uh, vasodilates your blood vessels. So wow. For people so it brings circulation to everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yep. And Which is the good. Uh, Nobel Prize in 1998 in medicine was awarded for nitric oxide research. Really? Dr. Louis Ignaro. Yeah. Wow. This is so, the best drink I've ever had. Oh, it's so incredible. <laughs> Page yeah. 147, and so folks. If, and if you serve that, True. I don't care if it's at a tailgate or at a fancy party, would they ever know that it's super food? No. No, 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 no. That's what we love. And I've had three of them now. <laughs> I can't get enough. Oh, well, Justin's going to have to drive home then. Yes, oh he gosh, will. Yeah, watch. <laughs> it's not alcohol. Hand him over the keys. <laughs> Um, can we also talk about this? When you guys walked in, you have your own product line sure. now. Yes, Tell yes. us about this. this is, what are you guys not doing? So much we're, has happened since two years. I ago. know it's two years. I know things things you know just happen fast. Oh my gosh! Tell us, tell us, what is this okay, so, DNA detox so, business? You know, we we do the whole culinary thing with with food, but with our clients, we also do cutting edge protocols as well. So we do supplements, health modalities, all, all sorts of things. Yep. So we've really, over the last like 30 years collectively, weeded through a lot of supplements and there are certain things that uh, really strike us for, for using with people. Um, so about two years ago, this um, technology was actually brought to us. So what this is, this is a zeolite product um, zeolites are a natural mineral compound formed when magma meets ocean water and produces a chemical reaction. Um, they've been used in environmental cleanup for a long time because they have a very high affinity for binding radioactive particles. So mm. they've been used in um, Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, uh, Fukushima mm-hmm. um, during all, all three of those events. Um, Hazmat crews carry it as a foam. No. Do they really? Wow. Okay. Um, and then in the last, you know, 10, 15 years, really, it's been used more in the dietary world. Um, but just a couple years ago, there was actually a technology breakthrough where um, now the fragment sizes are about a million times smaller than ever before, and they're water soluble. They've been trying to do that for 30 years. Like Why? Is it just a... For 30 years, because you can go to any health food store and find zeolite written on a bag, mm-hmm. and it's a powder that goes into a water. I just took some of that this morning. And so it's powdered it, water. It yeah. It doesn't go past your gut. Okay. But this, now they've been able to micronize it. It's small, it's as small as a Dalton. And I'll it's, let Jay finish that. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a, a measured in, in Daltons, which a Dalton is um, it's about the size of a hydrogen atom. Okay, so Whoa. super, super small. Is that the, like an angstrom? Is that isn't that like smaller. a size smaller, smaller, smaller than, than angstrom? angstrom? Yeah. Um, wow. So uh, if you picture, we call it DNA detox. If you picture a DNA double helix, <clears throat> um, it's about six hundred and fifty Daltons. Across. Okay. Which so, is the bottom of the base pair. So think about just that one little link between the 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 bottom base pair of the helix. Okay. My God. So that's six hundred and fifty Daltons. Dal- Daltons. Okay. okay. So the particle sizes in this are between 200 to 5,000 Daltons. Now, 
for something to get intracellularly into your cells and then to actually get into mitochondria, um, a particle needs to be smaller than 10,000 Daltons. So all of the particles in this are actually capable of crossing the mitochondrial membrane. Um, so you can actually get a toxicity at the cellular and mitochondrial level, which is super cool. And because it's water soluble, um, it binds, it has a very high affinity for heavy metals as well. Um, we have a couple urine analysis tests done and, um, on you know, yourself, mercury, uh, actually on clients, on clients. Yeah. yeah the, the re go ahead with the results. It was, re yeah. Yeah, it, was it was before taking it. And then after 10 days of taking the average adult dose. And so, uh, mercury levels, uh, when one person was up 200% with the other was up 900% in mercury excretion, um, lead excretion was up significantly, um, CCM and different radioactive particles as well. I have all those things. So I'm excited yeah. to see this because I do my hair testing every three months. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get on this and see what comes out in the next hair you test. Go. You never know. Cool. It'll, I'll tell you my readings. How much is it? 10 drops? Is that the adult dose? Yes, I would probably, for sensitive people though, Kate, we Thank we, you. We what do you tell? We recommend probably half that for okay. sensitive people. Because I might feel funky or just it you might be just. a lot of water because it pulls. Okay. It pulls, it gets, it gets in there. I'm excited. Oh. Would this be something good to do, do you think, before like a sauna session or? Sure. Oh, yeah. Do you think it would be it, good it, to it'll do? Come out for your, yeah, it, it'll find whatever channel, be it sweat, usually urine. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Lymphatic into urine and then or feces and out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because with a sauna, saunas are obviously pushing toxins out through the skin, but it's also driving them into the body to be released uh, through the bowels also. Okay, okay. What do you guys think about urine therapy? If I were to do this, because I do a little bit of urine therapy every morning, small amount, but if I were to do this, would this be, would that be something to... I, I would think, I would, I would think that they would still, they, the thing with zeolite is that it actually forms a strong bond, but... Just for to be safe, I actually would not do that while, I, I would not do urine therapy while taking that because it's so water soluble and we've seen the results of the heavy metals coming out in the urine. In the urine, about 200 so. 200 times to 900 times more bad guys coming out. So I don't know if you want to be putting those back in. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a really good question. I'm glad you yeah. said that because that might be one thing you do. Because a lot of our listeners are crazy and they do urine therapy. <laughs> are crazy. <laughs> AKA, uh, AKA me. our listeners are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> listeners. Yeah, uh, zeolite, zeolites are really amazing. There's been some cool research into them. Um, in one zeolite study, um, it was shown, it was actually done with athletes and it showed that um, zolulin levels were lowered, and zolulin is actually a, a protein marker um, for um, a leaky gut. When when the junctures in, in the the gut get larger, it, you have higher zolulin levels. So, and what is zolulin? Like a, a heavy metal? No, no, it's, it it's a, I believe it's a protein, protein marker. marker. Oh, okay. Um, but it's something that they look for for like leaky gut, elevated zonulin, zonulin levels will show leaky gut. So this was actually, uh, zeolite was shown to actually lower zonulin levels, which could be good for people with leaky gut. Interesting. Um, and I haven't seen any science on this yet, but I know that Don Huber, who's one of the um, glyphosate experts, has actually said that zeolite does bind glyphosate. Wow. But I, I have not actually seen that in a study yet. Oh, man, if wow. that or true that's but that's, that's so glyphosates terrible. are everywhere right yeah it's yeah it just um gosh i think it was nine months ago or so um the food babe uh launched an article showing the glyphosate concentration in normal foods and you could actually see the parts per billion of glyphosate in all these typical foods that people consume and Which what is ridiculous. what is what are the issues with being exposed to too much glyphosate because it's weird like i haven't been we haven't really heard about glyphosates for me until the last maybe five Three or six years. years. Yeah. But has it been something that we've been exposed to for our whole life? It's, it's the major chemical in Roundup. Mm -hmm. right. um, and it, it's been a silent saboteur for a lot of people. That they, they were like, it was, it kind of went, you know, persona non grata because people didn't know what it did because no one tested for it or tried it or saw what does it do once it once it it get, comes into us, mm -hmm. comes into us both from um, from animals who eat grasses or, or plants or grains that are soaked in it or been exposed to it. Plus they get it um, directly from uh, the plants themselves. Like if people who are, for example, that strawberry, if it was uh, a commercial strawberry, probably sprayed. Mm. Um, I, I think that when people understand that these parts per million, my favorite analogy for what that looks like is and if you go to uh, ewg.org, environmentalworkgroup.org, and watch Ken Cook's little um, few minute 
a video called um, 10 Americans and he actually shows how it breaks down even just one part per, per you know billion what that does to the human body and even how it's um, titrated back and forth depending on what you're what it is that you're taking and how it affects the body so I forget how many parts per billion it is or parts per million um, where they show that um, uh, birth control pills are you know keep us from ha having you know procreating right and but at, at a much higher level are we having these this pesticides and all these other estrogens uh, xenoestrogens that are you know flooding our bodies every time we're anywhere hmm. yeah and Gosh. actually in that same video the 10 americans video you know it really shows the larger picture issue too because uh they were showing for people who aren't aware of it you know it's a 20 minute video you can just mm -hmm. type it into youtube it's called 10 americans but it was showing how uh when they looked at umbilical cord blood um, of, of babies that, you know, they found uh, several hundred toxic chemicals, but it wasn't just several hundred toxic chemicals. It was, uh, I believe, like 216 chemicals that were banned over 20 years ago. Oh, uh, so you're looking so, at the actual chemicals themselves, because I've always heard that uh, over 200 chemicals in the umbilical cord you're blood. Like, what kind of? But, but they, they were, never talked about what? They were banned over they, 20 years ago. So th that's just the thing that's like, okay. How it lingers. Yeah, mm -hmm. so all these things that, mm -hmm. you know, are being dumped into their, in, okay, so here here's a stat, okay. Um, 682 pounds of toxic chemicals are released into the worldwide environment every second by industry. Worldwide. Uh, worldwide. 682 pounds. pounds per second. Now that is what, like that, um, just chemicals on the ground or what, what are we looking Toxic chemicals into the air, mm -hmm. into yeah, the air rivers, stuff, like into every, everything. Dry yeah. cleaning. Includes everything. That's Per second. That's so, crazy. Yeah, so it's t over 21 billion pounds per year yeah. is being dumped into the environment. Good and Lord. So with looking at the t 10 Americans, it's just showing you that, you know, unless we come up with really radical solutions, the, you know, the things that were dumped into the environment decades ago are still there and showing up you know, in newborn babies. Yeah. So the stuff that's being sprayed now, getting back to, you know, like the, the food babe article, you know, it just shows how it's in, these things are showing up in the food supply. That's right. nuts. That's crazy. And in crazy. 10 Americans, yeah. I think that really resonated with me is that this is umbilical blood from a human who has not been exposed to the outside world yet. Yeah. And yet they're born pre-polluted. Yeah. That's, That's nice. where we are. That's and, nice. and then when you look at, now let's, let's step back and not be myopic, look at the whole world and um, some of the people who are working with animals, even in the Arctic, um, they're showing uh, um, beluga whales that have breast cancer because of the toxins that we put into our waters, you know, mm. beluga whales. So, so what are we doing? You don't have to be scared or upset or live in a bubble, but you do have to know how to mind your meat suit. Mm -hmm. And if you know how to detox and you don't you don't put as many in unknowingly, we call them silent saboteurs. Doesn't matter if it's a jelly or jam or cream that you put on to be beautiful or soft or shiny, mm -hmm. what have you. We all or do that. Or it's in our house, our household products, because those stay in sick. <clears throat> um, that's why I became a green, you know, certified green consultant. And then the other part of that is um, it's just the environment in general. Uh -huh. like where you work, where you live, where you play. Mm -hmm. But your soft place to fall, where you live, goes back to answering the question that you asked us first, is why I moved from L.A. to, to the forest in Asheville. And yeah. yeah that's, mm. that's one of those reasons. We mitigated so much by doing that. Um, well, I, but we still show people how to mitigate it from no matter where they are. I think it's a big deal. I think there's going to be so much, um, so much more repercussions from all this EMF stuff that we're being exposed to. I just yeah. think it's so. I mean, what did you say? How many? How many did you say from antenna search was near you in it LA? Was 156 towers within the, within a four mile radius. Four miles. And now it's so, four. Did you say where you are now? In or uh, seven. Seven. Seven, seven. seven. So, so you knocked that we back. We mitigated 149 <laughs> cell phone towers around us. And, and any then, anything that they would install, you know, right. in the future. And then uh, in, as far as antennas go, it was about 450 antennas within a four-mile radius. And we got rid of those. And, and, and we also mitigated everyone's, you know, Wi-Fi because it's us and it's trees and it's river. Right. Mm -hmm. Whereas wow. in Los mm -hmm. Angeles, you open up your laptop and look at the Wi-Fi and there's 35 Wi-Fis that yep. it's picking up. Yeah, think of those you know? as the big blankets yeah. wrapping around you, every mm -hmm. single one of those. Mm -hmm. There's another good demonstration for, um, you know, of course, anecdotal, but 
um, on our Facebook page, which is just Jing Slingers or Jing Slingers across social media. But on our Facebook page, I want to say it was about a month ago, we posted a video from a colleague of ours, friend and colleague. Um, his name's Del Coya, and uh, he does something similar that that we do. Like when we go to a client's house, we actually bring our EMF detectors. Oh, nice, nice. And we have been able to like radically change people's sleep immediately just by moving their bed. Like sometimes there's actually the electrical installment for the house is mm -hmm. on the wall on mm -hmm. the other side of the bed, and they can't sleep and they don't know why, and they're having headaches and stuff. Ugh. And then you move the bed, and you know, and they're good. Yeah. Well, sometimes so, because your cell phone's under their pillow. Yeah, sometimes there you go. Stopping, especially younger yesterday. people. Yeah. Oh my younger gosh. People. We'll do that. You know what I saw something recently? There's this new smart pillow. Have you seen this? Oh no! no. no but I'm smart all here. smart pillow. So it's this thing where um, <laughs> these cutting edge researchers are building these pillows that are um, have all this stuff built into them. So it tracks your sleep. It's like kind of along the lines of all this wearable technology kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah all that it tracks thing. your sleep. It it it. Uh, brightens the light inside the pillow for when you want to wake up. and But I'm just looking, I watched the video, it's like a Kickstarter thing, you know? Yeah. And I was watching the video and it's got all the wrong color light, it's like blue light at night, and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, man. <laughs> like you're doing the exact opposite of what you what you are saying that you're doing, but they just don't know, yeah. you know? It's just so it's crazy. Like, wow. it, just seems, it just seems innovative because they thought of it, but they didn't look at like, how did nature design us? Mm -hmm. What is that? primal blueprint and what makes us thrive and that's the part they miss not a smart pillow not a smart pillow <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just to segue back for a second so our our colleague here uh, Del Coya he was in um, he was in a client's home he had his EMF detectors they were going absolutely batshit crazy uh -huh. and this client um, she had just been diagnosed with cancer she had been taking care of her son who lived with her, um, who was diagnosed with cancer a year before that. His living e in the same space. Living in the same space. Uh, his EMF detectors are going crazy. They are living on the top floor of a small apartment building. He's able to actually open the window and step out onto like the roof line. And he he's doing this and, and filming it. It's like four minute video. And he Central he link. walks just outside the window and there's a door that says like you know hazardous zone High he opens voltage. it up and there's a cell phone installation tower literally on the roof of their right above their bed space like literally within feet of where they are what's, so they're living in a bath of, of oh my gosh. Cell, cell towers what city or where is this client located do you know um in is it central like california so yeah. in a major city or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so what the, the That's crazy. Oh, building gosh. did was make yeah. extra money because they needed to hide a cell tower. You see yeah. them sometimes yeah. they look like trees. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, they make extra money that yeah. way, yeah. And so <laughs> instead they said, ah, put it in the building. And so they installed it into the, into the center of this building and have been on, on microwaving. The these yeah, people. The I can't believe with people's without people's knowledge of that they can because get away with something like that. Yeah. That yeah. seems like a lawsuit waiting when to happen. you can't mm -hmm. see it, they think it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's more about oh what you can't see than what you can see more often. Than not. Did mm -hmm. these people move? Um, I, I don't, don't know. know you don't know the result. Saw the video, and, and he's a fr he's a friend, but we didn't yeah. ask what the result. Was. It's a friend God. of yours, clients. Then, so it's yes. not your yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah. Wow. Not colleagues. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Whew. I saw a documentary a while ago. You have probably seen this. Uh, Residence of Beings. Have you seen that one? No. It's all about. It's basically all about cell phones. I mean, it's pretty old. It's probably about five years old now. We, you know, in regards to technology. But man, it's just eye opening. They're talking about. Uh, it's mainly done by an English guy living in New Zealand, and he was doing all these experiments and testings with people in New Zealand that can't figure out why they can't grow any food, why they're getting all these diagnoses of cancer and sickness and all this stuff. And uh, it's it's. It's shocking. It's so shocking. Well, even yeah. in our last place before we, because we moved recently, when we were trying to do our roof, to, like we had a deck, <clears throat> you guys probably remember, we had these raised garden beds and everything oh, yeah. died. We tried. We couldn't grow anything. So hard. And then we realized, <laughs> duh, the power lines literally connected to the right, Justin's office, old office mm -hmm. where he sat, but they ran right over the garden beds and you could hear the like zzzz. Yeah, you guys remember that office, yeah. And then we, and, we got yeah. the meter and we started going around and we're like, we're out, we moved. Well, so, yeah. Joey, tell them about what you used to do. Oh, before I do anything, <laughs> before, before I went to Hogwarts and became a wizard. <laughs> yeah, before all that happened. Before all that happened. Um, when I was a police officer, we were field training. One of the things that um, that we did, uh, it was like right after we got off of duty, um, we would drive out to the construction site. Sometimes we'd have a detail, like watch construction sites, make sure people didn't steal things. And so you get bored when you're sitting there just watching stuff. 
Um, but we realized that if you picked up the long fluorescent tubes that they were getting ready to put into these buildings. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. There was, like the ones in, in this room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah these ones. And you, yeah. and you um, stood on the... Um, the hood of your car and just held them up they would light up because of the power lines uh, I've heard about that yeah so it made us look like we were magic but lightsaber we, lightsabers yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so we you know we thought it was kind of cool and novel we didn't think that okay it's lighting up that bulb what's it doing to us like we never got past that part of thought who right. would yeah. you know but I also later on um, after I was diagnosed and had that you know grapefruit sized tumor on, um, right there on my left side that's exactly where my radio sat and I was an old school police officer, had the big square radios about the size of a brick um, until, you know, then they, they slowly evolved by the time I retired to be something smaller, but still they, they weren't shielded. Was that part of it? I don't know. It's probably a lot of things. It's never just one thing. Right. So. But it was on the same side as oh, where it was. Yeah. It's too you kept coincidental. It. Yeah. Is that still going on with the police force now? I mean, they still have stuff on their body or oh, they have absolutely. more protect. They don't have protection between they, them. And they wear no. that. They also wear Bluetooth ears. I mean, <clears throat> everyone oh my gosh. has Bluetooth everything. They're wired, man. I mean, even Bluetooth baby monitors. Really for the soft little head, you can put that in the, in the crib. Think about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. and, well, the, and the ones that are video are even pumping out more oh radiation gosh. because they're yeah. stronger. Well, and it's so, so bad for little kids because they don't have the, the the myelin. Their nervous systems are just so unprotected. So, yeah. I mean, for, you know, for anybody who has kids, you just you can't expose them to, to cell phones. Them you can't, phone. can't let yeah. them play with a cell phone, you know, and stuff like that because their their systems are just so naked. They have no protection. And then the ones yeah. that are old enough to sit up and say old enough, we'll say color back old time coloring. Old time and uh, old time. Now, now people who are in their 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s are coloring, which is cool. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a new trend. Okay. Yeah, old They're trend. They're sitting there with a, with, and they give them an iPad or some kind of a, a tablet. And now that's sitting there irradiating, you know, their little jewels. And I'm like, right. we, we really don't think past what that means until we get the bad news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just being more um, uh, open-minded and mindful makes such a huge difference in your longevity and you can feel the difference. Mm. Like even if you're a non-responder, and I am a responder. Jay is not so much a responder. How do you mean um, responder? What do you What do you mean? Which means that, um, for example, if I have some of that caramel sauce, uh -huh. and the only herb in it is um, ashwagandha, or or um, I'll use uh, astragalus because okay. the bright cheese energize the bright chi, but not in a caffeine kind of way. Uh -huh. I feel it immediately. Oh, okay. I can feel it. It's in my blood. I feel it. Whereas some people will feel like a subtle, maybe they'll feel like a little better, a little more sharp, but they don't mm -hmm. feel the bump of it. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'll let Jay go ahead and explain how a non-responder kind of... Well, non-responder, I fall more into the non-responder category, which is, you know, I sometimes like I'll you. feel subtle, subtle things, but... I'll notice things more in retrospect, like taking certain herbs or foods, like over months or years, I, I notice the shifts that I'm Shift. going through mm -hmm. and, and feeling better, stronger, um, you know, more uh, stronger, healthier immune system, mm -hmm. all that. Th but I don't feel it, you know, like right on the spot normally. Okay. Um, that, that was something I, I really was actually shocked about when I started working at, at the tonic bar because I was, you know, serving thousands and thousands of people, talking with them. They would feel something and you wouldn't? Well, no. I, I w my first question to people over the years would always be, how sensitive are you? Because I learned very quickly with people that, you know, people aren't like me yeah. or some people are, and you know, I can make a really strong drink for them. Yeah. Other people though, it, energetically and psychically <laughs> sensitive people yeah. you have to give them a really small dose that would be and they'll, really, that would be they'll feel <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a joy you're a J <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean literally mm. you can give a sensitive person a quarter of the dose of a non-sensitive person and they'll feel it ten times more than the other I believe person it. and that's just that's just you wired. know how people are wired, and uh, it's a really what you're interesting sensitive thing. To. It's really yeah. important to know too. You know what's weird is I would fall under the category of you because um, I don't really feel too much. Like you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, I eat this, and I just feel this amazing surge of energy." I'm, not, I'm that way too. I don't really feel it right away. Yeah. But one thing that was really strange is in that old um, uh, studio that we were filming in last time you guys came, um, I could feel the EMF. I just knew something was wrong. Mm. Something was not right. And I got the uh, tri-field meter, um, you know, which is just a pretty cheap meter you can get on Amazon. Uh, and I, I went in there and used that thing. And it was just like, it would be <laughs> down in the normal range. And I'd walk into that studio and, and just pegged. 
toward yeah. the corner where right your where desk I was, was sitting, and so we just moved. It was just like you can't, you can't be, you can't do a, like extreme health radio show, <laughs> and knowing that, right? I mean, mm-hmm. it's just right. crazy. You can't when you do know that. better, you do better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I get that was actually part of um, part of our move, and we also. We also want people not to feel like, you know, they're screwed. It's like, oh, well, you know, I can't do this. I can't afford it. Ah. You can mm-hmm. actually do this. You can do it in shape and do it in little bits and mitigate and be really happy where you are. Because you can transmute a lot just by being positive and having mm-hmm. a good mental outlook. Um, the foods, of course, support all that. And the herbs are superfoods that actually make that even more possible. Um, but when you change your location, or even for some people, the location of your bed from one wall to another, yeah. it makes the difference between having to take a sleep aid or not. Mm-hmm. So understanding you know, where you are, make your house the soft place to fall. And for us going from Los Angeles to, um, to the forest, really, um, allows us to not have to spend $400 of water on bottled water and not drink tap liquid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it means that we are not spending... Um, uh, or uh, not really spending, but but constantly, I would have to clean out my Therapure filter, mm. air filter, because air water, you do air water first. Um, what in Los Angeles, about once every seven to ten days, it would show full. Whereas in Florida, I do it once every thirty days, it would show full. And in Asheville, it probably is still going; it hasn't beeped yet. Wow. So it's the the particulates and the things that are in the air, the stuff we breathe all the time, and you see them. If your if your curtain is open just a little bit and that sunlight comes yeah, through, you see, you see the little, the little flickies. Yeah, and um, and not so much of that. You know, when you've got trees breathing for you. Do you miss anything about LA? I miss you guys. Oh, I miss oh the people, yeah. And I do miss the energy of it, and I miss Damn. I miss the ease and flow of being able to run out of the house and go to Air One and pick up anything that now I have to go back on Amazon to get. Yeah. Um, but you know what? The, the traffic here is amazing. It's the, really nice. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's fantastic. I really <laughs> miss that. <laughs> <laughs> really miss that. You know, being able to drive without stopping and no oh, lights. Who wants God. that? Wait. I, I have to jump <laughs> in. Ahead. I did a video two days before we left because um, uh, one of the people who had come out to the, it was actually with the surveyor who came out to our property, was like, oh, you guys should go now because there's going to be traffic. And we're like, we're from LA. <laughs> but then yeah. we, when we left and we went out the gate, we went towards Hot Springs. There was literally um, a horse-drawn uh, carriage from I don't know where. It looks like they were going to an event. And there was two of them and a guy on horseback. I'm going, that's our traffic. So I filmed it. That's oh, my no gosh. Way. Is that on your Instagram it's or somewhere? Be, yeah. yeah. We didn't Eight. have a chance to get on the plane. Although yeah. we actually did for the first time hit real traffic in Asheville. Uh, before we left and that was after you know a couple months so wow. we're, we're like so it actual actual exist. traffic jam like a legit wow like legitimate yeah, yeah. Like I mean, for LA, yeah. it's not really traffic still <laughs> yeah, yeah hey. you can tailgate in LA yeah yeah, yeah you can we, we have to ask you guys we came across this um I don't remember who posted it somebody posted it to Facebook about an ash I think it is in Asheville isn't Asheville? it um a big ca- salt cave. Oh the yeah, the salt caves. I'm we so got online and we're like, yes. "What the heck is this salt cave?" And it actually yes. grows. We read about it. It's an ever. It's like a living salt. salt cave. Have you guys been there? No, we have not. Not it's yet. On our list. It's on our list for our clients to do as well. They so when have- we come visit, we can go to the yes. salt cave. Yeah. So we're talking salt cave. We're talking about eight minutes from our front door is a natural thermal hot spring, mineral hot spring, right out of the ground. Um, free free beautiful. to people, um, no, or do they charge? People, they've been. This has been an established place since the 1800s. Yeah. <sighs> wow, uh, it's beautiful, and they've done it now so that um, instead of sitting in a hole in the ground, they put in these tubs, uh, and they're for two people or four people or however. But you're completely. That's so cool. Uh, you sit in a um, in your own space, and it's outdoors. Oh, it's got wood on four sides and the oh, roof. So I've on seen three it. sides. So you can look out and see the stars and see everything. And you can be completely comfortable and be naked and not feel like you're out there. Get wet exposed. The wind, literally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and so, but you can see the river and see the forest and, and be immersed in this beautiful liquid that they call, you know, thermal mineral hot springs, which is just, a, you, I can't even tell you how you feel afterwards or wow. as a responder. And Jay will have to speak to the other part. No, it's great. <laughs> yeah, so it's it feels all right. I mean, yeah. whatever. It's good. It's, okay it's all right. The scalar <laughs> energy of what the, what the mountains actually transmit and watching the earth and being able to literally physically see the trees exhale. And mm. that's hence the Smoky Mountains, like the, the mist mm. wow. is just, it's magic. Wow. It's, it's really, really magic. 
Do you guys wow. have any uh, springs to drink from out there outside of the, the well that you're going to tap on your property? Do you have any like local springs that you can I, go to? We found one just when we we're going down to the stalls. Well, there's 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 water everywhere. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's just water everywhere. <laughs> Wherever you drive, you're like really? driving around a, a river and there's always like water coming down. Um, we we don't have a tapped spring that uh-huh. we've used yet. yet. Okay. But they're they're all over the they're place. They're just wow. When you speak yeah. of this water all over, is it a year round thing or is it only like mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, You'll no, pretty much water. see yeah. water year round. Yeah. Yeah. And what are we doing in California? I often wonder that. I know. Yeah. When I hear about the trees exhaling, it just made me it's feel so, like these plumes, these ethereal plumes come up and then there's veils of um, them just going like <sighs> Wow. You just watch it go and then the red tail hawk zips through it and you're like Really? There's something magical, right? About just something in the air, being outside and witnessing that and breathing that wild air. There's something to that. It's yeah. like, I don't it's know what that forest is. forest bathing. It's actually a thing. It's forest forest mo- bathing. Yeah, forest nice. bathing. Nice. I love that. I do too. Like moon bath. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. And it's something that was started long, long ago, uh, not just a Taoist um, um, tradition, but um, in a lot of Oriental, you know, or Chinese or Japanese mm-hmm. um, uh, countries and cultures is to to walk and be present in full on nature. So some sometimes barefoot, mm-hmm. um, and you can literally you there's a something changes the your brain wave changes the presence of the the what the plants and the trees are emitting to you mm-hmm. becomes tangible. Mm-hmm. Something so, about it. So forest bathing is a real thing. Mm-hmm. And um, just like foraging for morels or anything else, it's it's being so much more connected and every part of your body knows that it's now at ease. Mm-hmm. That's it the can best just, way I can, I can describe it. I feel like it's it's similar probably to uh, you guys done the float tanks, the sensory deprivation. Yeah. It's like your whole body just can, can finally relax. Mm-hmm. It's probably like that when you're out there in the forest where you can just finally, your nervous system isn't being fried all day long with all this. And then the to-do list in your head, it's like the cell phone going off. You can just like finally right. just relax. And people literally, if they want to come to us and do nothing and just be nourished, we do that too. So how many people can you take at once? Um, we, we like to do um, either a couple or two couples. Okay. We can do most. up to six comfortably. And then after that, then it's probably going to be um, uh, like a group intensive. And that's you mean six couples or six people? Six Sorry. people. Six people. Six people. So okay. Three couples. Um, and that way, only because people want different things. And since we are the people and you have us one-on-one, there's no one else there but you guys, whoever that you guys are, either two or six. So how do you work that if you have three couples that are staying at the same time? Or do you... No, we do. Like we can do it where you go. We it, you're the only people when you make a reservation. There is no one else. Okay. It's just you. So if you make a reservation with Kate, then you would be our only two people, and then whoever else wanted that time frame would have to wait and get another time. Frame. So do people book like mainly for a week or two weeks, or how yeah, does it? Our minimum is, mm-hmm. is three days, and right now we're doing it. So if you book, um, you get a, a fourth day free, which is a whole other day of food and learning and fun. Uh, oh, that's cool. Um, if you book five days, you get two days free, which means now you get a whole week to play with us. Oh, nice. And that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, all of the. You, you tell us the curriculum that you want us to swing the the syllabus to. Um, it's wet learning. We go out and we hike if that's what you want to do. We show you how to forage. We show you how to come back and, and make it. We can do, uh, we can go to all the different um, farms. You know, they have apiaries, which are for bees, uh-huh. um, as well as there's a bison farm and there's there's a lot, there's a goat creamery. There's different things that you can do there. This is really interesting that we can take you to the farm tour. Or if you want to do the adventure thing or do a little bit of everything, then there's the whitewater rafting. There's a zip lining, which is so much oh fun. Oh my gosh, I bet. <laughs> there is, there's even a zen float to get, so you get in touch with your inner tube. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> a little That's inner awesome. tube joke. That's their slogan. I, I love it. it. <laughs> you would, yeah, yeah. It's on a billboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a frog doing this. So I thought That's that was awesome. on the spot. Yeah, and then wow. there's the caves and the salt caves, sound baths, and we have massage therapists comes right too. So when you come with us, you get part of what you is part of what you pay for because it's all inclusive. Is you get um, a an hour massage in front of the fireplace, you know, private fireplace, and then you've got an hour in the uh, Mineral Springs hot tub. That's just part of it. So wow. people are obviously coming in recharging and recharging their batteries and things like that, but they're also learning skills that they're going to be able to take back home, right? Right. Yeah. It's Which as is much cool. As you want. You, yeah. We, we we rev it up to whatever you wish. Yeah. That's or cool. mellow it out. How do people right. book this with you? Um, they, they can e- they can email us email you so okay. jingslingers at gmail.com or jingslingers. they can go to our website jingslingers.com and just email us that way okay 
Wow. We had a busy spring, but summer is going to be so beautiful, and oh. fall is magic there. The oh. whole valley goes People come from around the world to see to see the foliage in the fall. Oh, I bet it's, it's so cool nice. And now you can't, it's, it's a little cold, unless you don't mind a little Wim Hof work, uh-huh. uh, getting into the waterfalls, <laughs> but at least you can see the waterfalls. You may not want to get in them because they're that much cooler, because usually they run about 50 degrees when wow. it's not cold. I mean, when it's not winter. Whew. Yeah. Wow. Chilly. But, but fun. Yes. Yeah. Man. Wow, guys. Good work. Gosh, any other projects to, uh, coming down the line? Um, any well, other we, books? We have. We're making notes for book number two. Are you? We're, we're not. We're not doing any projections as far as timetable goes, but yeah. we're making notes for book number two. Okay. Yes. Yep. Wow. So this is all going to start June of 2017. Is that right? Uh, or no, actually, we're taking we're taking Waterstone uh, reservations now. We've had we've had clients out. Um, at what we call it Waterstone Junior. Okay. Um, and uh, they can contact us. We send them the video. They can see what they're going to see and um, and see their accommodations and what everything looks like. And then we uh, we customize their time, be it five days, seven days, or some people can do you know longer if they want to be there longer. They just have to make sure that we've got the availability and we're not you know because like I say, when you're there, you're, you have us exclusively. You have private chefs, which is us, private masseuse, private everything. Wow. So they just go back and forth on email and set up a time, or is there a booking system? Yeah, there's a booking system. You contact us, awesome. we let you know what's available. We give you the time frames that are available for what you're looking for, and then you choose that what part of the season or however you want to, when you want to be there. That's awesome. They communicate. Yes. Yep. Carrier it. pigeon style, because you guys are off the radar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no cell phones. <laughs> no, we do have cell phones. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. uh, no, but it was a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Right, to we get, to to get service. Oh, oh, did you really? Oh, you guys. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Because that- of the coverage kind of thing? Is yeah. that? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you didn't have a cell tower built into your roof. <laughs> into, into your room? There's only seven around <laughs> us, <Yeah. so. laughs> Oh, that would not be good. Man. Oh. oh, brother. All right. So jingslingers.com is the website. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Jingslingers on social media, mainly Facebook and Instagram. Okay, cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, one final thing. Have you? Are you guys familiar with the Life Vessel? Do you guys know about that? Life Vessel. Refresh me. I'm not. It's not ringing a bell. It is a machine that's um, that you lay that you get into. It looks like a an oversized tanning bed. It's it's really big, but you get into it and it uses frequency, light, sound, and I think vibration. Ooh. And um, there's only a few of them. There's one. I think the originator is in Colorado, and there's one here in San Juan Capistrano. Oh, so wow. if you guys want to check it out, it's just down the road. I haven't, I've only done research. Um, I was researching it about a month ago and, uh, we found some people and, it's, and it just sounds amazing. So it's, uh, my guys might want to check it out. Yeah. We have a lot cool. of different modalities that like we've got the bio mat, we've got, uh, everything's grounded, grounded, mm-hmm. everything, even our yoga mats are grounded. Oh, oh nice. Grounded. Um, we'll have, uh, the P E M F and Paragon and all kinds of things like that. Oh yeah. 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 That's yeah. awesome. It's so fun to have tools. And yeah. Yeah. We just, uh, we had a, a couple just a couple weeks ago come and stay with us for um, five days and, um, he was, he's 70 and he was about to have a knee replacement and he had just re-injured his knee. And so he was hobbling around. So really we, limping. So we oh. had our uh, little PMF de- device. And so we had that on him several times a day and he couldn't believe how much better he felt. And he was able wow. to go he out and this. hike with us. That's awesome. And you know, those things just make a big difference and really modalities like that. And being able to invest in a modality is just such a good use of money because you invest one time and then you have something yeah. you can use every single day for years. Right. Yeah, right. I agree. Overlay it. Like for him, it wasn't just the one thing, although that was probably the main thing that got rid of the inflammation, mm-hmm. but they were sleeping grounded and then they were yep. on the bio mat and then they were, did the uh, PEMF when every time he was just sitting still or, or sitting still and learning like we were doing. Uh, we were doing live hands-on in the kitchen. We just had to bar stools up to the counter, and we were making the food and, and teaching him how to make this this jing slingy stuff you just yeah. were eating. <laughs> and um, and he, he was he was he goes I can't believe there's no pain in my knee. How is that possible? Wow. Hmm. It's mm-hmm. cool. It's cool. There's so many potentials available these days. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. Jingslingers.com. Joy and Jay, enjoy. thanks for being here. Bless Thank you, guys. guys. Thank yes. you. Thank you for thanks having for us. Thanks for our treat. always ready to play, even if it's Skype, but you guys are going to come out. Yeah. Oh, I we know need we need to. to. That'd be fun. We really do. Awesome. Thanks, guys.